Hey guys, it's Ice Patine here, back with another video this time, and and we're back to with another Colin review, and that's his figure arts review, view, and we're reviewing the SS figure arts Shugo Seho, oh, Colin K complete form, and and yeah, this is kind of like one of my last, um, at least the last um Shugo Seho figures I have. I have one more SS figure arts, and that's Colin Vulcan, which I'm still debating if I want to review it until. I get zero one one because it comes with a attached caliber and everything, you kind of get the point. But, yeah, there's still a few more figure arts that I'm planning to get. I mean, Sugar Seho or just regular figure arts. I'm still planning to get Rebind and Vice, probably, possibly the um, two-pack, even though that is a Bandai exclusive and everything. And I don't know. We can go We can go on forever about uh, how we're a little bit annoyed with about that, but... Okay, but let's just move on with the figure itself. We got we go on with the box first and then and stuff like that. And so yeah, here it was just a box. We have to take complete form looking really, really, really cool. Well I can't say hey I like this form too much, but I'll go into that a little bit later. Later the cake complete form. And so and foil on that side on that side and this side. Again, the cake complete form max wire decays since anything before double with max wire. As this figure arts logo up there, down and right there, and then in the back we just have all the product shots of the figure looking really, really cool. Again, the cost looks looking like a badass. And that's enough of the box, and now let's move over with the figure. So here's Decay Complete Form itself, and and yeah, I really do like this figure arts, but it has some issues here and there, and then also this whole release is kind of like a big issue in some cases, just... I will go into that, uh, the big thing later, but yeah, going over the details real quick. Like, um, yeah, I really like this. This I really do like this form, but it's not my, one of my favorite. And like, final forms. I think it goes to, to Kiba Ever form, it goes to Super Batataba, Pudotera. I don't even know, I think Pudotera is the canon final form, and then there's other things being, saying that the. It's just kind of confusing with um, those, because he has. Puyo Tira, Taja Door, and of course the Taja Entity Eternity um, form, and then also the the um, Super Tataba. Again, I can go on forever about that, but yeah. Uh, I think also the number one that takes it is um, Kiwami Arms. Um, Kiwami Arms, and I think also um, Ult Kuga Ult Ultimate, I think, in some cases. But yeah, going over the look at this, we do, it's just black, and most of it is just black and silver. Cool on the top of the head, which I'll go over first. First, we do have like just the head, which has the silver, black and silver, and then some, some like pink with the combat eyes, which, which looks awesome. Um, and then the the lines, and the pink lines here, which I will say I have a little bit of a paint scuffage right up there. And yeah, sorry it's getting all blurry for you guys, but I don't know. Oh, and then we have the a complete form card on top. Again, I will say it's just, it was an okay form. But also another thing that's weird is that this, this center barcode right here is a little misaligned. It's not like straight, it's a little misaligned. And you guys can see right there, we have the just silver and then going to that little green translucent thing. It's just a little off. You guys can see it, right? Right? Again, everything looks pretty cool. With helmets, like there, we have the little just sign. Like barcodes, I think these I can just call it. And then the little chest piece, we just have all the cards for the main nine, the other nine Heisei wires before decayed. Uh, we got Blade, Fies, Eyes, um, um, Ryuki, Akito, Okuga, Kiba, Deno. Kamato and Hibiki looking pretty cool. Now there's no issues right there, like no double printed, no like um, like double old cards printed or on there. Just everything's right, and it's not misaligned or anything. And we just got the pink right there. We have the silver, which has some old paint splash for some odd reason. Silver, and then I'll just going with the silver and black, with like the lines here, and then just the kind of barcode parts right there. We do have the K touch. Which looks pretty detailed and has a card in there, which that's the only card which I'll go into later. But yeah, we just got that and it looks pretty cool. We have all the symbols right there. And then we just have the K-A driver. 
on the side over here and it has all the symbols all the symbols on there and, and you can actually put and this is an actual slot so you can put cards in there so you put the final attack ride card in there and stuff like that but yeah that's um again with just the pink on the back silver for the feet and has the barcodes on the feet and yeah that's pretty much it for like the detailing i don't want to go too much but i got it off but now let's go over articulation i mentioned that it has the k a um symbol right there so going over articulation real quick like and stuff like that um you got the ball joint in the head you can go up that far a little bit more and down this much watch and you got a pivot and it's and then you get all side to side there's no hindering and with the these parts right here here and then you got a just F, just a ball joint in the in the have crunch which and again you can go up that far which won't knock into anything and you can go and just have a pivot on go just that pivot like like that and then you know also the shoulder pants are on a ball hinge which you and then also you can, so you can get out of the way which you can go into a t-pose um trying not to you also have a butterfly kind of hinge right here uh, here and you can't go 360 a bit Maybe a little hindered by this a bit, but you can just kind of move around it. And like I said, and like I s you also have a bicep swivel right there, double jointed elbows right there. And like I said, um, I'll just show it again in case I got my arm in the way. But yeah, you can see it right there, very deep, and then also just a ball. Kind of a ball, ball joint on the hands, and I already showed you the the uh, crunch a bit. And this, as far as anything else, this can rotate a bit, um, and this can come off, which I'll show later for the hands. And then also the legs can kick up that far, and you can also do the splits that far. Or and you have a side cut right there. Total joint knees for your feet triggers and you need strikes. Likes and then you have an ankle tilt. Tilt and a you can go up and down and you can have a toe hinge and yeah. Everything you need for counter decay to be decayed and you can just do your rider kicks. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation. Now let's go over the accessories. So now going over the accessories real quick, we have a just a few hands. It's just a set of hands, just a, a set of hands and stuff like that. We do have two fists right here. Again, sorry if I can't get it. It's just really hard to do as I speak its hands. But yeah, it's just for your right punches. And yeah, it has, does have the silver back part right there. Here again, these do come packages. Package pack with the E, so... We do have um, two pairs of pointing finger hands. I have one of them on there right now. So there you got your pointing fingers, which you can, they're just for pointing, no holding weapons, which you can kind of, I almost thought it was, but no, it's not. Then we do have weapon holding hands right there. And again, one of them is on the figure. Again, has all the detailing, which again, this is the last time I'm gonna be showing the back part. And we do have some some splayed out it's kind of like um calm and relaxed hands like there just for you kind of just calm and relaxed hands just standing like i think you can use it for just sliding the blade with your iron stuff like that and then we get um two k touch holding hands right here again it has all sculpted stuff here this is for the K touch, so I'm just gonna put one to the side. But you can take this off, and I'll just lay this down for a bit. And yeah, we just got here's the K touch real close, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And I think, I, yeah, upside, upside down, it has all the logos, stuff like that has decayed, and all the paint work, which is pretty cool for a tiny thing. And you just put the hand. In there, and yeah, there you got it. You can use other phone stuff like that. And then you do ha have, and then for your final hand, you do have a 
button press a button press hand for the K touch, so you can just summon the auto riders and stuff, final forms and stuff. Like I said, and just uh, get oh, and yeah, it can it can stay in there. It's just it's just a little finicky at some point, but yeah, yeah. I'll just uh, put that on the side, put this back in, put this back in and stuff, and yeah, just uh, and I might have it upside down. Uh, we have a few di different ride blockers here. We do have the gun mode. It has all the detailing silver, the whites, the decay logo right there. The gun handle and this extend out for the gun barrel parts. And then you have just green right there. You have the ride, the ride blocker in, in blocker mode. And this does open. In, and it can't put any cards in it, which it doesn't have any cards. And then finally, we do have it in sword mode. Has all the detail and coin the blade. Same detail and just the. And then you just put it in the hand, like so. And I probably don't need to do this, but yeah, there it is. And there, there we go. And that's pretty much it. Now let's go over some comparisons. Okay, so now that we're straightening them up a bit, what we're gonna do a few comparisons. Mostly I'm gonna keep with um, for Figgy Marts and Shigo Stay Home, I'm gonna just keep with the main briars and. I'm not gonna do dark. I'm not gonna show up with dark Kiva because I really just need one. I just really need like like Emperor Kiva Emperor form, and then also I'm just gonna stick with the main wires, and then I'm gonna do a few R comparisons and just like a few R figures I have. So just get the fi getting the figure arts out of the way and just to go say ho. We do have have um, Dano's sword form at least, and I only have like the sword form right now, and I haven't really gotten even plot. The original platform, I don't know if the new platform, the KTARS version, will work with the other, work with the other, um, the other, um, and the gun form armor pieces, so you guys can comment down below if it does work, but there's Dano's sword form and O's Tataba, and again, my only O's figure for right now, and still one of my favorites. And yeah, these these scale pretty well. I think I think Kinjukasa is a little on the taller side, maybe. I'm not really sure. Again, I'm, I'm again, I really don't know yet. Yeah, if I like put them like in a full just just for no, full vanilla pose, but yeah, this is I think um. Sword form is a little shorter than DK complete form, but I don't know. Just, no of his heights just because of that center card on top of his head. And then for your kind of like original figure arts and kind of like one of the only normal and original figure arts we do have Ryuki. Again, this is a lot taller than Ryuki because this one actually is an older figure. And then also, yeah, just figure I throw that in and then also just for or like keep it in the common wire and just show you real quick here it is with the eight arms change guy figure which again can can scale well with figure arts though if you just for like gimmick line and then for your and then for final form so I, my only which one was my only other final form until lately and that here is um Kiba Emperor form which um if it, it's all the um, cape is a little bunched up a bit because I have it in a very cool slashing pose with the cape just flared out. But yeah, um, just trying to get this standing straight without falling over, which I'm afraid it is. But just to give you kind of the the output, and like I said, just these two look good side by side, and you can really you can also just do one of the finishers. When he summons like keep Emperor form, and then for just some line collection, and just some like um, uh, Super Sentai team up we got with the line collection White Ranger. Uh, and again, this is the just one with the correct helm with the replacement helmet, and then I have just a bunch of painted on uh, some custom eyes, and I did. But yeah, wanted to show him with that. That's kind of one of my favorites. 
And then finally, for you kind of like Marvel Legends and just our 6-inch one, we have the big time um, Spider-Man figure. I figured I'd just show this guy with him, but yeah. Plus, also, I couldn't help but do it because it reminds me of that, um, kind of the Kate style motion when he travels to the Marvel Worlds, also. So, that's kind of like another thing I wanted to point out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, let's go on to our final thought. And then there's DK complete form just in a right kick, kick pose on the Mayfix stand, and I just got his box in the back, background just for heck. Like I, like I like doing for just my, my reviews and stuff, but yeah. Overall, I really like this fi figure, um, except there's just uh, some issues here and there with it. I will be honest, I really do like this figure. I like the Cake Play form is probably not in my top five, but I still like it, and I also like having final forms on the shelf. I never got the original one, so I'm glad I got this version. And and do I recommend th this? I will sit be honest with you, I recommend this for for people that have been collect for um diehard decay fans and people fan of this form. Also, if you, you're collecting all the final, trying to collect all the final forms and stuff like that, this would be good for your display. You just have a display for the for the final forms, or you have a display for the just just for the writers and the base form and the final forms, or just displays in general. Well, that's kind of like my one kind of like if if to this thing, but but on the plus point, on the, on the point, on the other part is this isn't a a Thomas G. Well exclusive. This came in the brown box, uh, ox um this this one right here. So this is an exclusive. I so this cost like I think one hundred and forty nine dollars, and then it was one hundred fifty after shipping. Maybe I can't exactly remember on the top of my head, and I think that's kind of like a downside, and also. I can kind of understand the exclusive part, but in the same time, it it doesn't come with any extra stuff. Off, like it doesn't come with any of the other final attack right cards, which I kind of ex I was hoping for, and heck, even the final form right cards, which again, I well, it's not like a big thing I would want. It's just I kind of wish they added some more thing, little extra thing to the set. So it, it's kind of not worth the extra the exclusive price, but yeah. I I think that I kind of lower it down to if you have the mo if you have the money and you're a diehard Cage fan and just a fan of the final forms that you just working on the display for that but yeah that's pretty much it for my review on this on the S H figure arts Shogo Seho Kamara the Cage play form again I will be making like an S H figure arts just playlist after this is over and same thing for the Cage so you get always will check that out. At the end of the video, I will add add that to the the um the, the little end screen at the end, like I said. So that's pretty much it. Remember to like this video, comment down below what you guys think of this figure. Do you think it's worth the pro worth it? Do you think it should have added they ha should have added some extra something extra for, for it to to like just come to the, the exclusive price? Nice. Um, I can understand. Like I said, it's a little bit ex more or expensive as it is because it's Sugar Seho, But again, I just kind of wish they add, add something extra. I, I, just comment down anything down below about the figure in this review in general. Remember to subscribe, tap the bell. More videos coming soon. I got one more video before the end. Before I go to bed, I will say this will be out after midnight. So I just wanted to get a video for, but the first video for 2022 out. So hope you guys have a happy new year. And like I said, let's hope for this year to be. Be better than be be great, like I said. And this I remember to share, tap to share to your social media to expand the channel more. And this size the team, going higher, right kicking out of here.